After the results of the UK's manufacturing production this morning showed a decline of 0.3% from October, the question is if these results are a sign of things to come for the industry this year. I'm joined down the line by Andrew Johnson, Senior Economist from EEF, to discuss his insight into these results, the industry and the effect on the British economy. Andrew, thank you for joining me. Firstly, Andrew, was the fall in factory output today expected and what does this tell us about the state of UK manufacturing? Yeah, I think it was more or less in line with what we were expecting. A lot of the surveys from different business groups, including ourselves at this time, were suggesting it was a pretty tough time for manufacturers around about fourth quarter of last year, November, around the middle of that quarter. So not too surprising there. Um, what it indicates is that 2012 was a challenging time for the sector. European markets and indeed uh, non-European markets were a bit softer than what we'd hoped at the start of the year. Uh, I think also today's data shows that there was continuing divergence of fortunes between sectors. So we saw, for example, even in what was an overall relatively disappointing set of numbers, that transport equipment, for example, was strongly up both on the month and also on the previous year. On the previous year, it's actually 6.8% higher than what we uh, saw in November 2011. But on the, on the flip side, of course, some sectors aren't doing so well. And, and this latest release suggested that uh, recently the food and drink sector hasn't been doing so well. Inventor Sir James Dyson has urged the government to do more to protect the future of manufacturing in Britain. Would you agree with this? I think it's fair to say that this government has been pretty resolute in providing fiscal certainty insofar as that's been possible with a very demanding external environment. And that's, that's been a positive because it's taken away a key source of uncertainty for business about what the government was going to do with its finances. However, there is definitely room for the government to do more and you know, people like James Dyson are right to say that you know, we need to have a more aggressive policy in driving uh, a business environment which is attractive for firms to invest and grow in the UK. We have seen some positive steps. So, for example, the Chancellor's Autumn Statement last month had a couple of measures in there, in particular the annual investment allowance, which we know is very important for our sector to help drive investment, um, was increased. Uh, so that, that's positive. But we still think there's more to do. And uh, if I was to single out a particular area, I'd say... Uh, you know, access to finance remains remains a concern, particularly for smaller firms that aren't getting funds they need from banks to invest and grow. Uh, and we think that's something the government um, should look to address in 2013. How much do the surging economies of China and India affect the manufacturing industry in the UK? Oh, without a doubt, you know, exposure to those markets is a big plus. You know, the sectors that have have got reasonable exposure there have done well. And I mean, if you think about some of the strength we've seen seeing in our motor vehicle production, you know, it's, it's, some high-profile companies have had very, very strong growth to places like China. So, that, you know, without a doubt, that's a positive. But I think one of the stories of 2012 was that strength from those markets hasn't been as strong as perhaps it was in the previous year and therefore hasn't been able to offset the weaknesses we've had closer to home, particularly uh, in, in our Eurozone markets where, where we have seen, you know, prolonged weakness. But if we're looking a bit further out, you know, that's definitely, those sorts of markets are definitely where we need to see some focus and, and, and further growth because although we have seen very strong growth in those markets, um, uh, particularly since the end of the major recession in 2008-2009, you know, they're still pretty low bases, the volumes of exports that we have out to those markets, so there's still a lot more potential for uh, UK firms to uh, grow uh, orders and output associated with those those markets. What do you feel the UK is likely to see from its manufacturing sector for the rest of this year? Okay, so for our latest forecast, which we released in December, suggested that we would see a modest expansion of our sector uh, in 2013. So we're expecting a 0.7% expansion for the year as a whole, which, following the contraction we've seen in 2012, does represent an improvement. Although, you know, without a doubt, it's it's below trend and it's still a very modest rate of growth and probably a little bit below uh, what the economy overall will achieve, which we, at the moment, expect to be about 1.2% expansion for the economy overall. Um, since, since that time, we have seen some modestly positive signs actually uh, so a more recent indicator than today's data was the PMI result which we saw earlier this month for uh, December and contrary to expectations that was actually above the um, 50 mark which is generally associated with the expansion so so perhaps 2012 ended a little bit better than we might have expected so that's a positive we've also had the removal of a key source of uncertainty in the US uh, with the, um, the so-called fiscal cliff potentially not being as big a deal given the the, the uh, agreements reached recently in Washington. So that's a real positive. 
I wouldn't be saying that you know we're about to see very strong growth necessarily, but since our last forecast, I think those are positive developments. We'll also see later in the year, I think, that hopefully the long-suffering UK consumer will finally see uh, you know, their incomes grow faster than inflation, uh, and that's got to be a positive too in terms of providing some uh, support from domestic demand for, for manufacturers. Thank you, Andrew, for your insights and predictions for this year. Stay tuned to Duke's Copy TV to see a wrap-up of the week's events with Monica Gibson. Have a great weekend.